Caught on camera, a store clerk put in a headlock and dragged around by a man with a gun. I can't imagine another human being doing that to another human being. Bags of cash were stolen during that violent armed robbery this morning in Conover. Deputies told reporter Dave Faraday they actually recovered one of those bags. Dave? Genevieve, the suspect actually went to extremes to conceal his identity. That's what sheriff deputies are telling us tonight. They say that he actually put on several layers of clothes before going inside the store that you see behind me so that he would look bigger not only to the store clerk, but also on those surveillance cameras inside. The robbery lasted nearly three minutes inside the run-in whistle stop near Conover. For much of that time, the suspect forced the clerk around the store by placing his arm around her neck. Customers are in disbelief by the amount of excessive force used against the clerk. I can't imagine another human being doing that to another human being. You know? This neighbor wore a sidearm today after deputies went door to door in the neighborhood behind the store. For protection. I mean, you never know. They've been so good to everybody back here in this in this trailer park. So I mean, everybody knows as far as a community friend, there it, you know. We can see a half dozen detectives with the sheriff's office at the store today. Deputies believe the business may have been targeted because it sometimes cashes checks on Fridays. At one point during the robbery, the suspect forced the clerk into an office, and when he realized there was a surveillance camera, he smashed it. We could also see where before he left, he grabbed the clerk's cell phone and threw it across the store. Deputies tracked him and actually found where he accidentally dropped a large portion of the money he stole. Very nice for that to happen. Uh, you know, we, we will uh, take breaks when they come our way. And uh, I'm proud of uh, the work of our detectives this morning. And the lead investigator told me earlier today that he believes that the suspect was also possibly wearing some uh, a fake black dreadlocks around a hat that he was wearing when he went inside the store. Genevieve, I'm being told tonight that they're stepping up patrols in this area until that suspect is caught. Back to you. All right, Dave, thank you. And if you want to see some of that surveillance video, we've posted more of it on the WSOC app. Take a look and let the Catawba County Sheriff's Office know if you can help identify the robber.